So the United States has another serious situation on our hands. And it actually has to do with another country, not us here in the United States. However, a problem here within the United States is only going to get worse because of what is happening in another country. Now, I'm going to break that down in just a moment. You need to be well aware of what is about to happen because there's already some very serious situations happening here inside the U.S. because of another country. But I'll break that down again in just a moment. All I ask is one thing. It takes two seconds. Go ahead and hit that like button. If you enjoy these daily updates. And now let's begin. So some say this is going to be catastrophic. Here's why. The U.S. is now worried that the Haiti crisis could exacerbate the migration crisis. Because what we have been facing over the past handful of years, and especially over the past few months, is we are starting to see more and more people come into the United States and they are claiming that they are in danger in their home country. That they are at risk of uh, homelessness. They don't have food. There's no health care. There's always something. Now, granted, it could be it could be that that is the case in their country, but in many instances, that is not technically true. Now, here's where things are at right now. The United States is a little bit concerned about what's going on in Haiti because there's chaos. And this chaos is leaving the United States with very few options. One of those options is to send troops into Haiti and to help regain control of the, the region. Well, look at this. It says, 35 years ago, a U.S.-led multinational force of some 25,000 troops landed in Haiti, backed with air support and two aircraft carriers to restore uh, John uh, Bertrand Ar Aristide to power. It says, now we must act. This is President Bill Clinton. That's what he said after the former priest turned politician was overthrown in a coup and violence began to spread. Now, here's the thing. Today, President Biden and the Biden administration do not want to plan another or a very similar rescue mission for Haiti. And the reason why is because here in the United States, we have an election coming up. How can we be so concerned about what's going on in Haiti, but yet our southern border is almost left open? How can that be? Well, it can't. Lawmakers are not going to vote for something that is going to send billions of dollars to Haiti. They're not going to vote to send our troops to Haiti to help them when our border is still not secure. There's just no way. But some say that the Biden administration could actually go around Congress. doesn't need their approval. The issue is if the Biden administration were to do that and the American people don't like that idea, well, they're going to be very vocal coming this upcoming election. Now, here's where things get worse. The reason why Haiti is in so much trouble right now is because gangs have overtaken prisons. They've overtaken hospitals. Uh, they've overtaken schools. Right? They've overtaken many neighborhoods. Gangs are now in control of Haiti. Well, it's not just Haiti, though. Look at this. It says, bloodthirsty Venezuelan gang, Tren de Aragua sets up shop in U.S. as border authorities sound alarm. This is part of the concern. We've already seen multiple reports from gang members from Trende Aragua, and they have you know, stolen from people. They have assaulted people. They have uh, taken people's homes and kicked them out. They have uh, you know, sexual assault. Right? There's been a lot of violence. This is what's going to happen. And some say what we are seeing in, in South and Central America could be coming up here to the United States. Because as more and more uh, gang members, cartel members, start to make their way into the United States and start to set up shop, they're going to do what they know how to do. And if that starts taking over that city, that neighborhood, it's only going to make things worse. Now... Again, it's not just Haiti, though. There's other places that are highly concerned. For instance, the Dominican Republic. In the Dominican Republic, they're upping security as Haiti gang leader warns of a civil war. How crazy is that? We are now talking about another civil war. We were talking about that just 
about a month ago here in the United States where Texas and the federal government could be in a civil war with each other very soon. Well, now it's Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Well, here's what we know. U.S. forces are now flying in. They're going to beef up security at the embassy in Haiti and evacuate non-essential personnel. Over the past couple of days, we've actually got more and more reports from uh, uh, you know people on the ground in Haiti saying that U.S. Uh, you know embassy workers were being evacuated. They were told to just leave, get up and go. So all those people that were working at the embassy, uh, not all of them are gone as of today. Based off of the reports that I read, many have left. Many have been asked to leave and just vacate the you know the the city or the country. And uh, the problem though is there those are the non-essential workers, the essential personnel. They're still there. Well, here's what I can tell you. The United States doesn't want to send troops. We do not want to send troops, put troops on the ground in Haiti. Could we restore power? Could we you know, help fight off the gangs? Yes. But is this our fight? The answer is no. The concern, though, is how bad is the migration crisis going to be here in the United States if... Haiti is overrun and officials cannot restore power in Haiti. How bad will this be? Well, based off of what some uh, experts are saying, I don't know, you know how much they really know about this, but the concern that they're having is if people don't have a place to go in Haiti, they're going to get up and go to the nearest safest country. And for many, again, Florida is about 700 miles off of Haiti. It's like seven to 900 miles, something like that. Okay, it's, it's fairly close. The concern is we are about to see boatloads of people coming up onto the shore in Florida. If this happens and we start to see gang members landing on the shores in Florida, the concern is there's already many gangs in Florida. And then it will could potentially turn into a gang war, a territory war. That's not what we want. All I can tell you right now is there's a lot of concerns because of what is happening for gangs. We, we have gangs here in the United States, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying gangs only come from other countries. They don't. There's been many gangs that have originated right here in the United States. But many, many gangs have started in other countries, made their way into the United States, found that it's more profitable there's a lot more here. They set up shop and then that gang really starts to expand and hits other large cities and then suburbs. And now it's in multiple states. That's what officials are concerned with is gang violence could potentially erupt very soon. Now, I'm not here to say that this is going to happen. I'm here to just tell you what experts are telling us at this time is if the United States doesn't lock down our border and we do not help people in Haiti, the concern is they are so close, they could easily make their way into the United States. So that's what we know as of today. Again, as I know more, I promise, I'll come back on and share all the latest news and updates. But that is what we know as of today. So again, thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.